Alright, isang maganda at mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Today is Wednesday, September 23, 2020 at muli pong nagbabalik ang Jika na ba mag online learning webinar series. Namiss niyo po ba kami? Well, we hope so. We're back guys para muling magbahagi po ng panibagong kaalaman para lalo tayong maging G na G sa ating mga online learning. Well, sa UP po nagsimula na ang ating mga klase noong September 10. So, so far, kamusta po mga isko at iska? Hopefully, ay all is well, ano? Virtual hugs po sa lahat ng ating mga scholars para sa bayan. Laban lang po tayo araw-araw, okay? Sa mga hindi pa po nagsisimula ang klase, gamitin po natin itong panahong ito para talaga namang mahasa tayo at maging handa sa papalapit na pasukan, lalo na po sa ating mga minamahal na guro from DepEd, maging sa ating mga mag-aaral. And of course, good morning sa mga early birds sa ating FB Live. Kanina pa sila nakatutok, ano? So please let us know kung saan po kayo nanonood ngayon. So please comment uh, down below kung saan po kayo nanonood ng Jika na ba mag-online learning webinar series. At uh, marami po tayong nakita na names na talaga namang suki na natin ano, sa ating webinar series. So andito pa rin po ba kayo? Ayan, mag-ingay po kayo sa ating comment box. At grabe, no? muli salamat po sa inyong patuloy na pagtutok at pakikibahagi sa ating programa. Siyempre, batiin din po natin yung mga ngayon pa lang tumutok no? sa ating webinar series. Interesting po ang topic natin for this morning and talagang gusto rin po talaga namin matuto nitong mga tools na ito. Ano? So again guys, kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung ating mga webinar series before, lahat po yan available na no? nasa YouTube channel po namin at saka po sa aming FB page available for replay. So, para sa ating live webinar ngayon, huwag kalimutang itag yung ating mga kaibigan, yung mga friendships natin diyan, yung mga kaklase, mga kasamahan natin dito sa ating video. I-share niyo po yung itong video din natin para mas marami pa po yung matuto sa ating uh, pag-uusapan or i-discuss sa uh, So, for today's session, meron po tayong 665 registered participants. So, I hope On board na po tayong lahat. Time check po. It's 10.04 in the morning. So welcome to Jika na ba mag-online learning, a webinar series on how to study at home under the new normal. And today's session is our session entitled Mind Mapping Tools, How to Make Online Learning Effective and Memorable. I am Cheryl Ed Hermosa Ebron, the University Extension Associate of UPLB Learning Resource Center. And today, I will be your moderator for this session. Okay, so just a few reminders once again. Unang-una po sa lahat, always keep your comments helpful and considerate to your speaker, to the moderators, and to your fellow participants. And again, if you have questions, feel free to ask them. Just comment them down below our comment box. They will be addressed by our speaker after the discussion. And also, don't forget to ask relevant questions to our topic, okay? And then lastly, kindly answer the evaluation form after the webinar because Team LRC will deeply appreciate your comments and suggestions. Sa mga hindi pa po, or sa mga hindi makakanood ng live today, o kaya po naka-mobile data kayo, don't worry. As requested, we will upload Uh, the session uh, sa ating YouTube channel, all the previous sessions are already available there. So please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. O, diba? Alam nyo na yan. I-click nyo rin po yung ating notification bell para updated kayo palagi sa ating mga videos. And of course, gamitin nyo rin po yung ating official hashtag ng webinar series. It's hashtag, hashtag GKNB Online Learning para madali po nating makita yung ating mga videos and resources using that hashtag. So, ano na nga ba yung mga naging sessions po natin? Di ba nagkaroon tayo ng six sessions on uh, how to get ready or how to be G sa ating online learning. Ang dami po nun, ano? So, from session one hanggang session six. So, for session one, it's be cool. For session two, it's be lit. And then session three, it's uh, be on cam ready. For session four, be extra And then session 5, vibe check. And the last session natin um, ay session 6, slaying it like a pro. So hindi po kami na contento na 6 series lang yung ibigay sa Jika na ba mag online learning. Kaya po nagpahabol pa kami ng isang session pa. Okay? So 
Ayan, simulan na po natin ang ating session sa ating uh, umagang ito sa isang energizer activity para ma-exercise na po agad ang ating mga brain cells. So sa mga umattend na ng previous sessions, you know what to do. Talaga namang sanay na sanay na kayo na magmenti.com. At sa mga ngayon pa lang po susubok, huwag po kayo mag-alala, madali lamang po ito. All you have to do is open a new browser or a new window and go to www.menti.com. And then second, use our key code. It's 6215585. You can also see the code sa inyong screen, guys. So pakisagot lamang po yung ating tanong doon. Actually, uh, kung follower po kayo ng ating Facebook page, alam nyo na po ito. But let me just also share my screen para po makita natin yung live results ng ating uh, menti.com. Alright, so let me just check ilan na kaya ang sumasagot sa ating menti. Okay. Hmm. Alright, ayan. Aling ka madalas kapag kumakain? Nakakutsara, tinidor, nakakamay? Chopsticks o depende sa mood. Ayan. I'm seeing on my screen, meron ng pitong sumasagot. Walo. Lahat po ay, uh, most of you ay nakakutsara at tinidor. Meron pong isa na depende sa mood. Ayan. Walang nakakamay. <laughs> Chopsticks. Sasyal. Ayan. Dalawa na yung depende sa mood. Nakakutsara at tinidor ay 16 na po. Wow! May naka-chopsticks. Oh, di ba? Bonggang bongga. Ayan. Sige po, intayin lang po natin. Keep it coming, guys. So, alin ka pag madalas kumakain? Kami po, uh, or ako personally, depende sa mood. Pag masarap na tilapia ang ulam, tapos may halong talong, mga ganyan. <laughs> Nakakamay, parang beach lang, di ba? Pero pag complicated ng kakainin, at ayaw mong uh, madumihan masyado yung kamay mo, kutsara tinidor tayo. <laughs> Okay? Alright. 42, 43. Siguro, paabutin lang natin ng 50, probably. 44, 45. Ayan. Keep it coming. 46. Ayan. Talagang madami ang nakakutsara at tinidor. Anim ang nakakamay. 14 ang depende sa mood. At may isang nakachopstick. Saba? Korean ba ito? Or Chinese ba ito? Okay. Ayan. That's... Let's say it, 52 na po. So let's go to the next question. Ayan. What do you expect to learn from session 7, which is mind mapping tools? What do you expect to gain from our session today? So para mabigyan natin ng idea yung ating speaker of what you expect to learn from our session this morning. Sige nga. Okay. Aba, nahihirapan yata magsagot. Wala pang sumasagot. So please... Uh, kahit one word or... Ayan. Okay. Strategy. Techniques. Ay, teka. May chopsticks. <laughs> may nagkaroon ng chopsticks doon. Baka para sa first question nyo na. Ayan. How to manage my thoughts. Ayan. Informative. Ano ba? Strategy. New strategy. Efficiency. Education. How to be more effective. Uh, easily understand. Or, uh, ano pa ba? How to make use of it. Tama. How to make use of the mind mapping tools. Alright? So, various, ano? Various yung mga expectations natin. Wala tayong nakikita na medyo mal. Ayun, strategy. Madaming sumasagot ng strategy. Efficiency. Techniques. Okay? Techniques and how to use the mind maps. Okay? Ang dami. Visualizing my inner world. Effective tips. Oh, okay. So, yan. I'm seeing on my screen tatlong words, ano, yung parang feeling nyo, ito yung talagang, uh, karamihan sa inyo, ito yung gustong mag-gain from our session. Tips and tricks, strategy, or strategies, techniques, and then may humahabol, organize my thoughts. All right. So, once again, thank you so much, guys for um, joining and participating with our menti.com. So, ayan, sama-sama tayong na-amaze na naman sa live results ng ating menti.com. Ano? Alright, so, um, okay, let us now move on to our main part. So, huwag natin patalag- patagalin, no? Our main part for this session on mind mapping tools. First, allow me to introduce to you our speaker for this morning. He is a Simeo Fellow and an accomplished global education professional with wide-ranging international operations and policy experience working at the country level in Asia-Pacific, Middle East, 
in Africa, Asia, and with global initiatives. Our speaker has a strong track record in leading international teams in analytical work, setting strategic direction, program design, portfolio management, and managing complex education and social sector projects, especially in the area of student learning assessment, monitoring, and evaluation. He is also a licensed psychometrician and certified assessment psychologist with extensive experience working with international and multilateral lateral organizations in low, middle, and high income countries. He completed his PhD in education major in research evaluation and in cognition psychology in UP Diliman and master of science in educational measurement and evaluation and graduate diploma in cognitive psychology. He is a former, former associate professor of psychology and education at De La Salle University, Manila, and professorial lecturer at USD Graduate School, formerly a senior education specialist of the World Bank Education Global Practice for Middle East and North Africa region. At present, he is a senior education consultant of the Asian Development Bank and chief executive advisor of Inexchange International Consultants Incorporated. Ladies and gentlemen, to teach us how to make online learning effective and memorable through the use of mind mapping tools, please welcome our speaker, Dr. Richard DLC Gonzalez. Okay, maraming salamat, Cheryl, for the very kind and generous introduction. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, magandang umaga sa inyong lahat. Uh, uh, salam alaikum. So um, for today, um, thank you very much, UPLB Learning Resource Center, for this kind invitation, particularly to my good friend, uh, Professor um, Benjamin Flor, Benji Flor, which I fondly called uh, Acham Benji. So maraming salamat sa pag-imbita sa akin para makasama sa, sa yung sa inyong um, webinars, a series of webinars on um, th that that will support students, teachers, and others for and parents especially on online learning. So um, I don't know whether I, I'm successful in sharing my screen, uh, but but let me just uh, I. Don't know. Okay, so can you see my screen now? Is my screen visible now? It's still going, you know. Or otherwise, I will ask Josh to just simply share my, my screen. Uh, So it's working. So maraming salamat. So um, as I have said, um, I am uh, Richard Gonzalez. Uh, I, I am Doc Chat. Um, for today, I am here to share with you some ideas and have conversation on how to make online learning. I would like to know whether we have non-Filipino or non-Filipino uh, uh, speaking participants here. Uh, I understand that the coverage of this um, webinar is All right, so meron nagkakaroon lang po tayo ng konting technical glitch sa end ni Sir Cha. Ano po? So, habang inihintay po natin siya, ayan, I think bumabalik na po si Doc Cha. So, Josh will be sharing the PowerPoint presentation. Ayan, welcome back. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, uh, I, yeah, it's, it's said, yeah. Okay. Maraming salamat. Okay, so Josh, can you just do uh, the honor of sharing my slides? Um, uh, so this is my first slide. So I, I am I have been introduced by Cheryl. So maraming salamat. Um, UP Learning Center. Uh, next slide, please. Um, okay, I probably I will just raise. So my name is Chia Gonzalez. I have to repeat. 
So I was saying yes a uh, while ago that um, if there is any uh, participants in the in this uh, webinar who cannot speak English, please let us know so that I'll try my best to speak in English. But otherwise, if uh, everyone can speak English and understand Filipino, uh, I, I'll try to switch uh, from time to time to Filipino. Okay, maraming salamat. Okay, next slide, please. So um, what is happening now? So the reason probably, uh, one of the reasons why uh, UPLB Learning Resource Center has organized this webinar because of what is happening now. Okay, almost everyone is going online learning and uh, online learning is no longer an option, but it has now become the mainstream modality for uh, learning. And uh, the main question is how do we know how our students' online learning is um, modality are learning, okay? And uh, an online learning environment opens up a lot of opportunities. So, uh, ten years ago, we've been talking about future, future uh, learning, future education, which is uh, through online learning. Now, uh, with the COVID nineteen, it just happened overnight, and that, and then all of us are trapped into this online learning, but it opened up a lot of um, learning possibilities and it's giving us also lots of uh, learning possibilities and lots of opportunities. Okay. Um, next slide, please. So I, I also want to share lessons learned from COVID-19 pandemic on schooling. This is taken, uh, this is um, uh, by DepEd. You know that, you know, we, we now shifted from old school to new school or from uh, old normal to a new normal. And one of the, in terms of education, okay, uh, it's no longer face-to-face, uh, -face. hindi na yung pumapasok tayo sa eskwelahan, or blended, or structured. We now move into remote learning, flexible, differentiated, diverse, and performance-oriented learning. So, all those uh, from, from kindergarten up to higher education, even Tibet, are now doing um, online modality of learning as well as distance learning okay um next slide please um okay so what is the focus of our conversation today okay i would rather have say conversation because i would like you to participate okay uh it's quite difficult to participate in an online environment but uh with the use of uh, polling and everything you know we can have a conversation. So the focus of our conversation is mind mapping. Okay, how to use them. So I'll try to uh, I'll try to discuss what mind ma ma mind map is. Okay, what's all about it, and then I'll try to uh, include also in, uh, discuss what is concept map and mind maps. What's the difference and how to do both concept mapping and mind mapping. Okay, and on the other side. Of, of the of that brain of, of that is, is how to manage time using mind maps okay how to use mind maps uh, mapping effectively and you know we have to learn from our lessons as well like why most people fail okay uh, okay yep next slide please okay uh yeah yeah um yeah this is hundred dollar okay uh but benjamin franklin is a hundred dollar bill of the u.s okay uh not i am sharing this not because i am uh, i am a fan of uh, donald trump but i'm just uh, sharing you what benjamin franklin has said for every minute spent organizing it's an r an r is earned so this okay uh this is our uh, first quote of the day uh, or pull out of the day, you know, every minute spent organizing an hour is learned, okay? Um, yes, uh, slides please, okay? So my presentation, I've divided my presentation into three parts. Part one is all about uh, mind mapping, okay? How to do, and I'll give you some examples, okay? The second part is the more uh, sophisticated, uh, more methodological, more uh, way of mapping is the concept mapping and how to do concept mapping, particularly for uh, important uh, knowledge. And the third one is how to manage time map. And uh, we end with the, with, with the presentation with question and answer if we have time. Okay, next please. 
Okay, uh, part one is all about mind maps. So, so you will notice like these are all, you know, uh, maps, you know, just like roots. You know, if you are plantitas or plantitas there, you can easily associate with this. So mind maps, you have structure, okay? And, and I know uh, this is not your first time to hear mind mapping or concept mapping. You've been doing this, you know, from your grade school, from your high school, from your university, and you have done probably a lot of mind maps, which you think are simply um, uh, obre maestra. So uh, it's a masterpiece. Okay, next please. So let me just define what mind map is. So, so a mind map is an easy way to brainstorm thoughts organically. So it's a support for our way of organizing our thoughts, okay? Um, one of the expectations that, uh, you, uh, that was mentioned here is you want to know uh, how to manage your thoughts better, more efficiently, more effectively, and with the use of mind maps. And hopefully we'll be able to achieve that at the end of this um, over, um, over an hour uh, presentation, okay? Uh, without worry about order and structure. So it's a mama is a free flowing way of a presentation of your of what you are thinking, your ideas on a particular subject matter. Okay. Uh, the, the picture on the other side of the of, of the of the slide is just simply a very organized way of, of, of presenting what a mind map is. Okay. But you will notice later on that uh, there, were, there are better ways or there are more artistic ways, creative ways of presenting your mind map. In fact, uh, a mind map can be used as a simplified content management, CMS, because it allows you to store all your data in a centralized location to stay organized. Okay? Uh, it's not only on your subject, uh, subject, uh, subjects or courses, but it can also be used in your everyday life, which I will share some uh, several uh, mind maps later on uh, after this, uh, you know, after uh, in, in the presentation. Now, next, please. Uh, salamat. So, furthermore, a mind map is a diagram representing tasks, words, concepts, or items linked and arranged around a central concept or subject. Okay, basically a mind map, you know, it's it's spiral way of presenting your thoughts. So it's just like, uh, you know, um, it's just like coronavirus. You have one less inter, you have, you have so many spikes. Okay, and, and these spikes would be your tasks or words or, or, or even um, uh, phrases that will help you understand or organize what the main concept or central concept really mean. Okay, a mind map can turn into a long list of monotonous information, okay, into colorful, memorable, okay, uh, that works in line with your brain's natural way of doing things. Okay, uh, of course, the more creative students or the more creative teachers will come out with the better uh, mind maps. But uh, for okay, as I have said, uh, it's a free flowing way of presenting what you are thinking. Next, please. Okay, uh, next please. Uh, okay, so it's a mind, it's, it's, it's a tool to entice, to delight, stimulate, and challenge you. So, so it has been highly effective way of getting information in and out of your brain. So mind mapping can be used for planning. So you have, you know, projects, goals, strategies, creativity, thoughts, etc. cetera, productivity, even collapse, okay, like teamwork, sharing, and of course, we also have the benefits of mind mapping. Okay, next, please. Um, okay, the mind map has in, been introduced. Okay, the, the origin of mind map uh, is uh, from Tony Buzan. He's a British uh, psychology author. Okay, who tried to uh, who, who argues that who argued that traditional outline requires that the reader scans the information from left to right or from top to bottom, okay? Remember, uh, I, uh, uh, if you remember, there are exercises in your classes where in your teacher will ask you to, to look at something, people look at the thing from left to right or right, uh, left to right or up and down uh, or top to bottom or uh, uh, bottoms up. So that is okay, how you would, what, you know, uh, what Tony Busan, tries to 
uh, show what mind map really is. Okay, it's for assumption that cerebral hemisphere, the left and right hemisphere, in order to promote exclusively of mind mapping over the other forms of note taking. Okay, there's several registered trademarks. You know, uh, if you uh, if you are more in interest, uh, if you are interested more about knowing uh, Tony Buzan, you can easily Google him, and then you would see him. Okay, his profile and everything. You know, he's an author, he's an educator, he's even a sportsman, an advisor, achievements, and then he developed the software, the IndMap. In fact, okay, the IndMap is one of the popular software for mind mapping, which basically uh, introduced by Tony Busan. Okay, next please. Okay, so there are five essential characteristics of mind mapping. Okay. We have the main idea, which is usually at the center, and you have the branch. Okay, uh, they have several branches. Okay, which you think are the uh, if we radiate from the central image as, as branches, and then from the branches you have the tweaks. Okay, so you have this interconnection. The branches comprise the key images or keyword drawn or printed on associated line. The topics lesser importance are represented by twigs. The branches form the connected nodal structure. So this is basically the five essential characteristics of mind mapping. It has a main idea, you have the branches, and you have twigs. Parang plants lang yun, no? Parang mga halaman lang yun na, you know, you have the, the, the branch, the, the trunk, you have the branches, and the twigs. Of course, after the twigs, you have the leaves and the flowers and the fruits, etc. Okay. Next, please. Okay. So how to mind map okay first you begin with the main concept okay and then after you have identified the main concept you add the branches to the main concept then explore my topics by adding smaller branches called twigs and add images and picture this is how you create a very uh, structured free form structured yet free form way of presenting what is in your mind Okay, so it's just like, you know, instead of writing a narrative way, a narrative form of uh, defining a concept or explaining a concept, you can define it by having these branches and twigs and put some images, okay? And adding picture would basically uh, enhance your mind, mind map. Okay, next please. Okay, so uh, this is a simple, uh, mind map for distance education so you have the distance education so uh putting things about distance education so it's just simply writing down words and phrases so distance education is learning anywhere anytime uh online social networking there's an extraordinary growth accredited and reliable education you know because you know it's not only in publications that we have predator you know uh you know predators for, for distance education. We have also uh, unreliable and non-accredited distance education providers, okay? Uh, nonetheless, probably we can still learn from it. So it also allows us culture awareness, future project, and online resources, okay? If, uh, you know, the distance education also triggered us, you know, and, and this is about the, 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 uh, the beauty about distance education and distance learning is that it allowed us to look for thousands, gazillions of online resources. Okay, next please. Okay. Okay, okay. So, okay, now I, I'm sharing you some examples of mind maps so, so that you, you, when we come to, to the time that I'll ask you to do a mind map, then probably you'll be able to do something, okay? So uh, you have, this is for teachers, applicable for teachers. So you have the daily lesson plans in the classroom, outside the classroom, so in the classroom, what do you do? You need resources, uh, bell ringer, discussion, wrap up, and then in the online, you have homework, project input, output, etc. Okay, and then like bell ringer activity, like journal, like discussion, you know, and, and so on. So this is how you would present your mind map for a daily day lesson plan. Next, please. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I know you would also like to uh, do a mind map for, uh, you know, for a lecture. And this is an example of uh, a lecture notes, introduction to accounting and finance. 
you have lecture one, lecture two, and this is how you would like to organize your online learning, particularly if uh, because of internet connection, you miss some lectures, you miss some assignments, then probably this is how you would like to have them, like, you know, so that you'll be able to catch up whenever you are, you miss some classes. So this is an example of a mind map for lecture notes. Uh, next, please. Uh, yeah, okay. Again, okay, for exam preparation, uh, you know, you would like to have a mind map so that this will allow you to, to more or less be, uh, be more prepared for your exams, uh, particularly uh, in an online learning where there are more temptations like your bed, you have your beds, you have your TV, you have your cell phones, you have your TikToks, Facebooks, everything, okay? And so uh, when you wa want to be more efficient, Okay, in terms in, in terms of preparing your 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 for prepare for exams, you could develop also a mind map. So in uh, in your in exam preparation, for example, so you have to repeat information, study structure, read and highlight, make flashcards. Probably flashcard is no longer uh, relevant now. Do practice problems in mathematics, for example, and then you assess information. Are they important or is this something that uh, I need to learn more or I need to not, not to give importance and then time okay resource memorize and then you have test structure like be prepared for any kind of test structure is it essay problem multiple choice okay and so on and work group you know um, it's also you also have to um, and then of course your resources do you have books notes and uh, online resources okay uh, I'll give you other examples on mind math, mind math probably. Uh, can we go to the next uh, slide, please? Okay. Uh, yeah, this is also a mind map for uh, solving, uh, solving uh, is problem solving mind map, okay? Uh, and, and this is basically, it is basically important to both teachers and students when you are doing problem solving, like uh, you would like to, to discuss what problem solving is, you can, in fact, the beauty of mind map is that uh, if you are a teacher or if you are a student, you can come out with just one page of one map of, of a particular concept, of a particular knowledge that you want to remember, and you can just reflect them or you can just put them together using mind maps, okay? Uh, you don't need to memorize, you know, in fact, uh, the, the mind maps, you will, you know, will help you understand better what the, the, what the concepts are. Okay, the second, uh, next please. Okay, so this is also a mind map for critical thinking, okay? Uh, you know, the subject, the purpose, the questions, information, assumption. In other words, when you are doing mind maps, okay, you also have to identify uh, from, the, uh, from the main concept or from the main problem, you have to identify sub problems and then, you know, as the, as the branches of your main, uh, of your main topic and then you have the tweaks okay uh next please uh you know uh, i would like to we'll guess okay this is also a, a population environment okay uh mind map so this is an example like if you are um, in your ecology class for example error mbsi class you would like to come out with something that you can you know you can just in one page you know you can easily especially when uh, you are taking exams okay this is very easy way to organize your thoughts in terms of population environment. You have the population, what are the government policies, the growth, change, resources, land use, et cetera. Okay, so next please. Uh, okay, this is for studying a country for social sciences students. If you would like to study a particular country, uh, right, the, the, the facts about name of a country, then, you know, here. Okay, of course, you know, uh, sorry, I, I don't have any example of the Philippines, but probably one examples that you could ask your students or one performance task that you could ask your students uh, for, for teachers who are attending here would be to, how do you present a mind map studying a country? Okay, second, uh, next please. Uh, I would just like to show just example, this part of speech, next please. Uh, this is an ecological relationship, okay? So you have independence, competition, the adoption, and then the symbols, etc. okay? So yes, you, 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 you see that in the mind map, you just have to come out with the key 
word, you know, and then you have the, the twigs or the subwords, okay? Uh, I don't say less important words after important words because, and then you have the ecological relationship. Next, please, uh, please go on. Um, and then this is for basic taxonomy. You have the animalia, plantea, fungi, prostatia, antibacteria, and so on, okay? Uh, probably if you want to identify, you know, and then next, please. Uh, and then this is also a mind map for scientific research, okay, for your students. And then, you know, here, and then next, please. And then, of course, you have the identify the problem. And then, so let's try to make a mind map for COVID-19. Okay, can we do it? Okay, so uh, this is how, uh, can, can you show the next slide, please? Okay, so, uh, you know, uh, since, since we don't have time, this is an example of COVID-19 information. You have the coronavirus, COVID-19, the virus, okay, uh, symptoms, transmission, prevention, treatment, disease, pandemic. This is a very clear and concise, very easy way to understand what COVID-19 is in terms of transmission, in terms of symptoms, in terms of prevention. How do you prevent social distancing, stay at home, washing and wear masks, okay, less contact, and so on. Okay, so it looks beautiful. I, I, I told you, like, mind map, you know, you can be as creative as you can in presenting your thoughts and organizing your thoughts as well. Okay, so uh, look at it, and then probably uh, if, uh, if, if you are to, to make a presentation about COVID-19, okay, uh, it's easy. Like for in terms of transmission, you know, uh, through the face, through nose and mouth, that's why don't touch your nose, don't cover your nose, cover your mouth, and cover your eyes because of droplets, you know, there are three important, so, so it can be transmitted through eyes, through the eyes, through your nose, through your mouth, and uh, by means of the droplets. That's the reason why we're wearing masks, okay? And in, even face shield, okay? In terms of symptoms, you know, you have the you have fever, loss of smell and taste, you have difficult breathing, and you have an incubation of 14 days. So, ang ganda, no? Uh, ang ganda, ganda. Like, you know, like, uh, I, I like the eyes of the COVID here, but uh, I don't like him. <laughs> uh, but, you know, the good thing is, um, this is an easy way to, um, to uh, of course, you know, uh, I, I don't like to mention this remdesivir because there are other, other medicines now being used, you know, uh, for, for COVID-19 uh, information. Okay. I think this, this ends the, the first part of my presentation. And so we now go to the second part of my presentation, which is the, a more exciting uh, one, which is a concept mapping. Okay. So while the Later on, I will discuss the difference between concept mapping and mind map for you to understand, you know, for you to appreciate whether you need to do concept mapping. And um, like, you know, um, my first encounter of concept mapping is when I went to Japan and um, uh, when I, I entered my professor's room, the first thing he asked is, do you know uh, Joseph uh, D. Novak? And I said, like, who is he? Like, you know, uh, no, I don't know him. Well, he's a famous professor in, uh, in, in, in University of Cornell. Uh, and I simply said, oh yeah, JD, JD Novak, I say, and then he gave me a book. And then he said, like, a concept mapping. And of course, you know, uh, it's all about, you know, because uh, when, when I studied in Japan, I was a research student for cognitive psychology. And my professor asked me to do concept mapping. And so, and, and so I ended up writing a, a, a thesis, a research on semantic structures uh, using concept maps. Okay, now uh, next please. Okay, so what's the difference between concept maps? Concept maps are tools of organizing, similar to mind maps, similar to your, uh, to your other graphic organizers. The only difference is that they include concepts, usually, and you know, and usually enclosed in circles and boxes, just like your organizational structure and the relationship between concepts or propositions is indicated by linking 
or linking word between the two concepts. So here, concept map represents organized knowledge that is context dependent or is concept that is combined proposition, etc. So in other words, okay, it you know one box okay is related with what we call a proposition or a linking word or a phrase that will tell the okay uh, but by by looking at it you can make your own storyline okay from the topmost uh, word which is for in this example the concept map okay and 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 so you know uh you, you know uh and and this is different like if you notice the mind map is just a spiral okay and the and each branch or twigs are not connected to each other like you know each branch it has its own twig another branch it has its own twig but in concept map you know you have to establish interconnectivity and interrelationships between concepts or propositions and between words and phrases and you have to have words in between two boxes like the no, okay, concept represents maps represents organized knowledge. So that one is already one proposition. Okay, uh, proposition may be cross links. Okay, or creativity. You need to see intercorrelation between different map segments. So you will notice that concept map is more complicated, but it gives you a better way of presenting your ideas. Okay. Uh, and you can make your own uh, storyline, okay? Just looking at the concept map. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, while mind map has been introduced or originated from the ideas of Tony Buzan, the concept map has been uh, developed more scientifically, I must say, Okay, by Dr. Joseph Novak of the University of Cornell in 1972, okay, uh, which basically uh, founded the theoretical underpinnings of uh, concept map is from the David Osover Learning Psychology, that, uh, which fundamental idea is that learning takes place by assimilation of new concept proposition into existing concept, okay, and, and new uh, and proposition frameworks held by the learner. Okay, you will notice that in uh, probably for for students who have taken uh, your basic philosophy or uh, philosophy 101, you know the concept of tabula rasa. Okay, that uh, that tabula rasa means nothing is on the head. That's not true. There are a lot of things. Okay, there are a lot of things in our head, and the only thing that we knew for us to, for us is to assimilate. Okay, what everything that we see into that the new concept and process into our existing knowledge. Okay, uh, you have already existing knowledge about virus. Okay, but virus, for example, uh, the the coronavirus just came out uh, in late uh, la last year, and so you know you now have this new concept. Although these are entirely not new concept, but you now making. You are now making new propositions, adding to what you have in mind and making it into a new concept. Okay, the knowledge structure held by the learner is referred to as individual cognitive structure. We have all, all have already what we have in mind. That's why, even when we are assessing, this is for teachers. Okay, even when we are testing, when we are assessing students, and a student gets zero in a test. Okay, it doesn't mean to say that the student does not know anything, except that. Okay, he knows a lot, except that we ask questions that are not, okay, that are, that, that are not uh, either, that are, that are not actually, uh, you know, he knows, for example, sorry to say, okay, uh, it doesn't mean to say that when a student gets zero, he doesn't know anything. It's except that we may probably ask the wrong question, okay? So sometimes, uh, getting zero is not entirely the, 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 the problem or the fault of the student. It's probably 75% fault of the teacher. Okay. One, it's either you did not teach well and the student did not understand or you asked the wrong question or the students studied other things but you asked uh, other questions. Okay. Out of necessity to find a better way to represent children's conceptual understanding, 
emerge the idea of representing children's narrative in the term of concept map. This, so this is how concept mapping <coughs> originated uh, in 1972 by uh, and uh, uh, proposed by uh, J.D. Novak uh, at Cornell University, okay, who happened to be the professor of my of my of my professor when I I, I studied in Japan. Okay, uh, next slide, please. Uh, okay, so uh, in concept maps, there are graphical tools, just like your mind maps for organizing, representing knowledge. They include concepts, usually enclosed, I said, like linking two concepts. Words online refer to as linking words, linking specify the relationship between the two concepts. So for example, this is an example of a concept map for plants, okay? You notice that plants have roots. That's one proposition. Plants have stem. Okay, and then plants have leaves, okay, and um, uh, stem support leaves, leaves produce food, food store seeds, etc. So you will notice the interrelationship among the concepts, main concepts, by the use of what we call linking words or linking phrases, okay. In, uh, the difference in mind map is that you don't have this have, support, produce, usually, etc. Next slide, please. Okay, a concept map again. Okay, the label for most concepts in the works will sometimes use symbols. They even they even use make use of symbol, and we have propositions which are actually statements about some object or event, either natural or construct. Okay, so here and we have something. They are they are sometimes called semantic units or units of meaning. Okay, so here. Like when you speak of it, like like when you one word for example is chapstick. So, what are the first things or words that come into your into your mind? So you now list them down, okay? And then, uh, in fact, you know when when I was attending the concept mapping uh, uh, course in, in 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 Japan, like, uh, and it was in Japanese, so it was. Uh, it was it was said okay write anything about chopstick which is ohashi and then write twenty words like you know I, I I don't have so much vocabulary yet Japanese vocabulary yet when I was I was attending the class so I can only write two or three or even five so but in concept map the 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 best practice is you should have at least twenty words which you can try to link okay to the major concept or major idea, our main idea. Okay, next please. Okay, so uh, concept maps are different from the graphic organizers. In their free form structure and emphasis knowledge, okay, which is why concept maps allow many to many relationships, okay? So concept maps, you know, kailangan my relationship, okay? Na, na, okay? And, Concepts, concept maps is uh, the the mind maps are more straightforward. Okay, some brands by tweaks, but in concepts, major babaero alalakeri to concept map because you need to get relationship from anywhere and you try to connect. So many to many relationships. Since we are people mix use the chart maps and even timelines. Okay, next please. Uh, so there are four elements of concept maps. So we have the nodes. Okay, the linking word, verbs, or cross link. We, we have to have the preposition, and we have this, we have the structure and the focus. Okay, please. Okay, and then and, and I try to explain these four elements of concept map. So every concept or idea is put inside a box, usually rectangular shape. The boxes are called nodes in concept mapping. Ideas and can should be concise in a word and short phrase. It's on also. Okay, a concept inside the box, and then you have the nodes. Okay, uh, and then you have to, you know, and, and each node it has to, you have to have to link to another nodes. Okay, while in 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 mind mapping, okay, each branch or each twig will, uh, you know, uh, is going on in its own way. No, wala siyang pakialal. Bas ako derecho. I'm going to the left. I'm going to the right. But for concept maps, you need to establish relationships. Okay, next please. The second one, this, the, the second, like okay, this is also the cross link. So you have to you have to use the words, okay, several words like as you know, like here 
uh, ma ma challenge yung being uh your being uh, your challenge your being creative in terms of use of words use of phrases and then uh when you are developing concept maps okay they should have they should have more than two to three links connected from other nodes at least at least three next please okay so you now have the proposition this is what i was saying like a preposition should form a meaning form sentence so remember plant has uh has a plant has three uh plants has stem plants have leaves and so on so it's preposition okay because uh, we all know that any proposition a proposition is always a complete sentence so and it should be meaningful okay so relationship shows the concept map proposition structure is also the characteristics of concept map so again you have several prepositions in in a concept map if you have okay and it's link okay it's 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 box linked to another smaller box or smallest box you know there is what we call i i, I say there is a flow of your the storyline okay or your preposition and its link is a uh, uh, is a sentence in itself or it should be a meaningful sentence the third uh, element uh, next please the third element is the structure okay concept map can be widely uh, widely free form but ideal form will be hierarchical in structure okay you have down or you know and then you have your right left relate to and so on so this is how okay you can either top top down left to right or you can have the you know uh left right so you have first connect and so on so yeah there are two ways okay the first one is from top and then the second and, and then the second one is from left from left to right okay of course if you are chinese japanese etc like probably we start from right to left you know it depends upon the way you write your 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 uh, your, your, your writing system okay uh, next please okay the last one is focus question okay and underlying assumption focus question is the problem or issue that the month is aiming to the bank okay meaning to say aiming to the bank or aiming to explain clarity of the focus question influence the difficult making and using the diagram underlying assumption is the model you use to analyze the focus it is nice to have but hard to figure out at first skip if you have no cues clues at first but do think it during revisions okay similar to my maps okay uh it is a continuous improvement like, like you know you can you can you can, you can you just start with uh, one nodes and then several nodes even for a mind map you can just start with one branch or two branches and then you can have tweaks and later on the underlying theory forms the question to provide the context and as a concept until until you have a total okay, explanation or uh, you are trying to explain or debunk a particular question or problem okay next please so there are steps in concept mapping okay first you have to prepare the okay, preparation which is focusing the questions and research okay the second is brainstorming which is the concept generation so yung sinasabi ko kanina that you have the main concept and then maglista ka ng mga 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 terms or concepts that you would like to connect to explain your main question or your main concept and then you determine the structure how do you determine the structure by concept organizing remember in concept organizing you can do this by having linked words or cross links okay that's step three and four so this is uh the step three and four okay the step three and four is more challenging than step one and two because uh you may have you may have come out with several terms and and sub terms but linking them and using and and doing cross links okay between all this structure will determine how the structure of your concept would be and of course uh, in step five uh, you need to finalize it so it's it's a trial and error in fact um, 
to, to come up with one concept map, you know, it, you, you have to continue doing revision. You keep on revising de depending on how you would like your, uh, how extensive and comprehensive you would like to explain a particular concept or a research question or a problem. Next. Okay, so here, uh, prepare. Uh, so how do you prepare? And focus your question. One, pick one topic that you are interested in and ask a critical question about it. This is the central topic and focus question. It is usually start with how, why, and what. Okay. S and F there is supposed to be N. Okay. And what? Remember, the concept pop is a swift form. A AKA, you know. Uh, you know, I, I like this AKA, my son always stay, tells some that that, complicated, okay? Uh, so better be humble in choosing a question, okay? Uh, you know, you, can, you, you, you would like to, to explore uh, or to present a topic or, uh, or a question uh, through concept maps, but, you know, if, if you are just simply starting, it's better to choose a simple question, like, how do I cook adobo? Okay, or how will I cook adobo in three ways? Okay, uh, am I ginugutom ko na ba kayo? Or uh, or how do you right? There are three ways to cook. There are, how many ways to cook adobo? By the way, any any any, any like there are so many ways to cook adobo. You have spicy adobo, adobo binagoongan. You have you have uh, uh, double double adobo adobo etc. Okay. Remember and do lots of research if you are okay, uh, in, in, in a topic. Adu, adobo sa gata and adobong toyo. Okay. Uh, what else? Um, uh, marami pang. Marami pang classing adobo. Okay. So it's probably that would be an option for you later on after this webinar to look for the best kind of, uh, of adobo. Okay. And then if you are new in a topic, do lots of research if you are new to the topic. Prepare your uh, topic with a decent number of ideas. It is casually, uh, casually scan through five to ten results. And okay, you know, you have a very helpful, uh, non complaining uh, assistant in finding uh, your new ideas. Okay, Google, just Google it. Okay, uh, concept map, and then lalabas na lahat yung. Mga, mga ideas, okay? Let me take for how do you get work done when you are not motivated? Is that an easy question? <laughs> or is that a challenging question? How to get work done when you are not motivated? I remember, I remember Achambanya, that's usually our, our challenge when we were, when we are preparing a um, uh, uh, project report, like, hindi po nagagawa kasi hindi ako motivated eh. Okay, like, uh, wala pa kong gana, okay? Uh, how, to, how to enjoy your adobo when you are not, uh, paano mo mala, ma, magugustuhan ang yung adobo pag kung, hindi, kung wala kang gana? Sorry, uh, I'm, 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 I'm poor uh, with my Tagalog, okay? How do you enjoy your adobo if you don't have appetite or if you don't have... Uh, 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 Another thing is adobo sa puti. Okay, I don't know like, uh, ano to? Adobo? Adobo sa puti? Puting suka? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Adobo sa puti. I don't know that. Probably walang soy sauce yun. Pero I'm just joking. Like, meron, like for us Ilocano, we have the Ilocos suka. Sukang Ilocos, which is brown or even ang itim-itim. Alam mo naman may Ilocano na may itim din. Oh, that's a joke. <laughs> and then adobo sa puti probably uses of adobo puti. Sorry, uh, medyo, medyo corny ako. Okay, but, but you know, just to wake up uh, uh, all of you on how to, uh, on how to prepare for it. Okay, so, so and, and then the second step, okay, can we go to the second step, please? Um, before we, obs we are obsessed with uh, our adobo, okay? List down all related points you can come out with. Notice that all brainstorming patriots keep judging a redundancy, relationship, importance on listed. The objective is on the number of concepts. By the end of this phrase, okay, you may generate around 
20 to 50 nodes or concept okay you can do this by putting them in a in a in a excel sheet like focus question how to get work done when you are not motivated okay social support reward system mental flow coffee 20 20 second rule okay what is the 20 second rule okay later on i will share with you prevention focus taking a shower okay habit formation okay oh, oh, uh, over volume motivation eating and drinking just start something uh short middles family support destruction removal perspective exercise brainless work etc so okay you can come out with uh you know you can put them into into excel sheet first okay and then later on you put them into nodes okay uh, or, or or nodes or your notes are those small boxes in the concept in, in the concept uh map next please the third step is involves two actions grouping and scoring all these actions back and forth scoring means you now have to determine whether well, is this important or not important okay is this uh you know is the, will this make bigger impact or less impact is this more creative or less creative okay uh bago ba to or you know tama lang okay concept mapping recap putting related similar load into piles so here just like here how to get work done when you are not motivated so psychology techniques okay so uh the 30 second train timer 20 second uh, rule detailing are this important so i think this one are more important and then taking shower physical uh, taking shower so how do you motivate yourself okay when you are not when do you get work done when you are not motivated like you know like uh in preparing this 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 uh, presentation for example like i think uh acham benji asked me to ask me to for this webinar at, uh, a week or two weeks ago but uh you know uh i i was you know I, i'm not justifying i'm not procrastinating but you know you need to have that con motivation to be able to come out with something that is creative something that's worth it and there are several ways you know and this is let's say habit formation like uh who among you are are more um effective or he can do better job or can uh better work when you are under stress kung uh, bukas na yung deadline ngayon mo gagamit rather than doing it one week before okay who does better those who are doing one week before or those who uh will just do it a night before the submission of any project sino sa inyo ang ganyan anyway probably some of you on 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 the on, on the are making comments but uh, a lot of us a lot of us sometimes you know uh you know uh can work better if we are under stress although that is not a very good habit uh second uh the the fourth one is uh can we have can we have the next slide please okay uh the fourth one this is now the main challenge Okay, because you five have to find a connection between ideas as, and connect them with linking words or phrases. Example of linking phrases like shows, define as, covers, demonstrated, makes, can be example, etc. So there are so many words. Okay, so ito yung sinasabi ko na sa challenge yung, uh, yung uh, nalalaman yung in terms of even grammar. Like, you know, it ha uh, remember, okay, any preposition should be a meaningful sentence it should be a complete sentence so and and the use of linking phrases will complete the sentence from node one to the next node okay plant is beautiful okay or plant is healthy etc after you generate the generate the primary links create cross links because you know it, it's possible that uh, you can create cross links <clears throat> between the same level of nodes of different branches okay which is you know again uh this is the the challenge and uh the challenge of doing a concept note like a, a concept con, 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 concept map I, I mean next uh next slide um okay and then if when you finalize uh i said any concept note is the concept map 
is not considered final. It's a working, it's, it's, it's a living document. You can continuously revise this, okay? Congratulations, by this stage, you are close to finals. Finalizing your maps, maps works well by going through question and answers. Tama ba to? Tama ba tong connection na to? Or is this related? Or I better move this one node here and make and put a linking verb here, which makes a, a you know which makes a better sense, you know. And then and structure has a, and the former should be take this up more, more than the, the last one. So structure investigation has two parts: you know, visual clarity of the visual clarity of the structure and accuracy of relationship. So you now have to look, you know, when you finalize your concept map. You look in terms of visual clarity of the structure. Um, ano ba? Uh, pag sa isang tingin ba maintindihan na kagad? Dapat ganon yung concept no, uh, concept mind, uh, concept map na gagawin niyo. So, are the central nodes easily identifiable? Sub concept brands up, up, appropriately uh, appropriate the main idea. So, may 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 connect ba? You know, dapat yung visual clarity of the structure may connect la yung yung uh, you know yung sinasabi niyo yung sinasabi may connect ba so uh, and then are linking like connect to the right directions or linking words actually describe the relation between okay and hyperlinks effectively use you know uh, and, and 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 so on okay the last one the next slide uh, i'm i don't like okay and then content assessment looks on the logic proposition the proposition makes sense Includes at least critical uh, ideas, at least 20. These are the questions when you when you finalize your. These are the questions that you ask when you finalize your concept month. Are the propositions uh, do the propositions make sense? Uh, do they include almost all critical ideas? Here, as I have said, the uh, uh, best practice is that you should have at least 20 critical ideas or concepts. Okay, interconnected. Graphic design evaluation includes handling the design elements and creativity of expression. Though the nodes and links pitch visually approximately aligned to the principles, do they do they uh, do you use contrast to highlight important from one another? Texts are easily are easy to read and appro appropriately fit to the to, to the pace. Okay, this is easy now. I remember when I was uh, when I first did. My first concept map, I was just doing it on paper. Okay, now you can easily do it, uh, you know. Okay, by the way, there is a, there is a, a software uh, called IMAP, iMind, I mean IMAM, iMind, I, a small I, a capital M, I, N, D, which you can, which you can uh, use to do concept mapping as well as mind mapping. Okay, thank you. Next, please. Uh, finalize your maps worth going through initial and you have to look at the structure, content, and the last one would be graphic design. Okay, do the nodes link and nodes and links fit? You know, and this this uh, is the, the, the this is similar to the to the first uh, to the earlier slide that I have presented. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, so here the, the, this is how uh, your concept map for how to get work done when you are not motivated okay sorry it's very small but you can you can google it later on uh, and then you have the the very important the those reds are more imp are important ones and the blue ones are the uh, are just simply important okay next so in other words okay this is how Okay, this is a simple template of a concept map. Okay, what is the central idea? It is then related to, okay, idea one, important concept, important concept two, related idea four. So remember, there is you have to, you have your ideas, but sometimes, but but you also need to identify the importance of its ideas or 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 its nodes. So. So this is how you would connect, okay? And you would see the interlinks of this uh, secondary concept related one ideas related to important concept one and content two and, and so on. Now, 
Uh, can we have the next slide, please? Organizing terms. This is how you organize terms. Okay. Uh, concept for, for a field trip to a paper mill. <laughs> so you ask all your students to write all the things that they have, um, you know, the things that they have. And, and this is, could be a very, very simple uh, activity for high school or even grade school. So uh, all things, all, all, all things that they saw in the paper mill. So paper, now you can connect it with paper is made of wood, wood made of, uh, made of a trees, uh, wood made of trees or trees made of wood, okay, a trees uh, made to cut, blah, 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 and so on. So this is how you would simply organize your terms and concepts to assist you in your concept, concept mapping. Next, please. So, Okay, uh, well, this is supposed to be a concept map mixed with mind map, you know, uh, COVID-19. Okay, so uh, uh, later on, probably you would try, <coughs> okay, can you, can, 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 you, can you try? So can you try doing this, uh, doing this? What is COVID-19? So COVID-19, I shared with you a mind map uh, earlier about COVID-19. But now uh, well, let's try to come out with the concept map mixed with mind map on COVID-19. And probably I, and I'm giving you this template. Then probably, uh, you know, if I am your teacher, you can do this later uh, on your spare time. And um, let me assure you that you will be motivated to do this as well. Okay, next please. Okay, so there are pros and cons of concept maps. Okay. Uh, the pros and cons is uh, fewer ambiguities for audience because it's very clear the relationships are established, interconnectivity of concepts are, are established. Ideal for dis displaying tacit knowledge because tacit knowledge is hard to be explicit when written or verbalized, like some consensus of mental models, like sample COVID 19. Capable of hardcore knowledge modeling. Okay, helpful for content gap analysis. Uh, researchers found concept webbing is beneficial to identify research gap, but to best achieve it, you need to help from data analytic tools. Okay, the 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 disadvantages or cons for concept matters is it is unfriendly for collaboration due to its high learning curve and complexity of rules. Okay, kailangan sundin mo yung mga rules. Okay, remember one rule is each node should you know should be. Uh, and it's no, uh, the, the interconnectivity of its node should be a complete proposition or a complete or meaningful center. It's hard to make lines overlapping. Connections are complicated and type of which you have to organize them. Low readability, you have, you have more than 20 nodes. That's even worse because, you know, a very good concept node, okay, according to J.D. Novak, is it should have at least 20 notes, probably for elementary uh, teachers or for elementary students, okay, 10 notes would be, would be fine, 15 for high school and 20 notes for college, okay, but, uh, you know, as much as possible, try your best uh, if you are uh, to, to have at least more than, uh, at least 20 notes if you are preparing a uh, concept note, okay, what, what about the pros and cons of mind maps, uh, okay, so here, uh, it's adaptable for both academic and business environment. Okay, useful for brainstorming. All you focus is just putting topics out. Easy to make. Low learning curve. While uh, the concept map, it's it requires high learning curve. No fussy to many relationship. Just free charts. Okay, flexible to change. You can attach or detach topics. Mind maps are capable for constant updates and easier to read, no hopping from one corner to the uh, okay, because it is, remember, mind map is either top to bottom or from left to right, okay? But in, in concept note, a uh, concept uh, mapping, it's always in a hierarchy, okay? The disadvantage to mind map is that more ambiguities to audience due to the lack of linking phrases, okay? While concept notes, concept maps, uh, have linking phrases. Mind maps do not have uh, linking phrases. Incompetent and tacit knowledge due to lack of linked phrases or simple relationship. 
not suitable for in-depth analysis, mind map push your ULS in breaking through, look at the listed concepts. Okay, now, next slide. Remember, concept map, you know, just to wrap up the uh, 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 part one and part two before I go to the last next <coughs> part is that concept map was developed by JT Novak, just a review from Cornell University defines graphical representation of organized knowledge. It includes concepts and relationship between them and indicated. So the red one is the concept map. So you can see the relationship, okay? Linking words and linking phrases. The mind map, okay, are uh, popularized by uh, Tony Buzan. Okay, a mind map is defined as that which represent visually. Usually it has a central idea, the, look at the green figure, okay? And it has associated ideas around in its radial structure. It's, you know, parang, parang coronavirus. Okay, ang mind map. That's easy to remember. Okay, next. Okay, with the comparison between concept my map and mind map, it's time for, for making choice. Uh, who would like, so the red is the concept, concept map, the green is the mind map. Okay, so concept map helps people to structure information, how? by using topics relationship between them. So if you go this way, you know, go up and then go to the, to the, to the, uh, to the right, then that is a, a one proposition, okay? Concept map is visual representation, that's one proposition. Concept map is collaborative, that's one proposition. Concept map is easy to use, why? It has, it has a flexible structure. So here, the, the, the linking words, okay, will give you a, complete and meaningful proposition. While in map, mind map, okay, ano lang, uh, uh, ano to, uh, sanga sanga, just like, uh, just like your coronavirus. Okay, now, next slide please. Okay, so we will proceed to the next uh, uh, part three so that we have time for uh, question and answer, okay. How to manage your time with mind mapping. If you're thinking about mind mapping, your time and managing it, you are in the right place. Okay, uh, agree or do we have a, a do, do you, can we make a poll, uh, a poll on this? Okay, do you agree or disagree? Okay, hindi pwede ang social desirability response. Okay, like it's either yes or no. So uh, yes, uh, mind maps and uh, you know, help you manage your time. Okay, that's why the third part is focus on time management. Next slide, please. Okay, so first let, let's define what time management is. Okay, time management is a process of planning, exercising control, conscious, okay? Remember conscious, like conscious control of time. So that's time management. Time management is the, exer the, the process of exercising conscious, control of time spent on specific activity. It's a system that design a combination of processes, tools, techniques, and methods, okay? And, I, and, 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 and this time we're, 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 we're looking at time management in terms of the techniques and tools and, and the techniques and tools that we are introducing to manage your time is actually uh, through mind mapping or uh, concept mapping. Okay, next slide, please. Okay, why most people fail in time management? Like, why do you why do you fail? Like, why is time management? Like, uh, sometimes financial management is even easier than time management. Why? <laughs> okay, you need to spend time wisely on things that matters to you. Okay, do you do are you spending your time wisely? only on things that matter to you? Yes or no? Then why do we ever fail? Don't we all want to spend on, on, on things important to us? Because we are such a mess, okay? Uh, who will disagree that, you know, with this statement that sometimes, most of the time, okay, we're so messy? Okay, ang gulo-gulo natin, like ang kalat natin. Okay, hindi natin alam kung ang unang-unahin. That's why 
we cannot do our time management at all. Uh, next slide, please. Why most people fail? Because, okay, our brain loves to lie. Do you agree with that? Okay. Uh, itong gusto ko, okay, just like a uh, biblical, like, like uh, the spirit, anong sabi nila, but, uh, okay, uh, gustuhin man natin, pero ayaw ng katawan natin. Okay? And, and, and sometimes our brain cannot control us and it even tolerates our lying. Ah, mamaya na lang. Ay, may oras pa and so on. Okay? It lies to you that it's right to scroll TikTok or Facebook for a few minutes. Right? That it's okay to work on an easy but unimportant time. And that it is fine to wake up late in the morning. Okay? Uh, Nakaka-relate ba tayo dito? Okay? Our brain tells us that no, it's okay. My, well, two minutes while, you know, meron ka pang oras, mag-TikTok ka muna or mag-Facebook ka muna, and that's okay. You can do other things. But, okay, is TikTok, Facebook an important task for you? You know, particularly if you are preparing for your exam or you are preparing for your class. And we love to doubt. Is it really... Uh, is really the one real thing? Ito ba talaga? Why does it work out that way? Maybe I should explore more. No, it's not okay to waste time on TikTok, on Facebook, wow, or even Instagram. And we never know whether an idea works or, or not unless we get it real. Agree? Next slide. Why, why should you consider mind mapping for managing your time? Here are the few reasons why mind, 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 mind maps for time management is still the thing. Okay, meaning, meaning very important. It shows you the big picture. It is simple and frees you from overthinking. Okay, it has excellent compatibility. Okay, uh, you know, and, and so on. So don't worry though. We've included some advice on how you do on, 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 in, in this in, in this very article. Okay, okay. Sing. Next slide, please. Okay, this is the time for, for your mind map. So to do for May 4 to 7, for example. Okay, group one, what's your goal? What's your goal for today? And then group two, what are your tasks? Group th uh, and then group two, what are your tasks? Group three, group four, etc. So this is a simple way to do your time management using your mind map. Okay. So, uh, you know, if only, uh, if only we are in a face-to-face -face or we can be interactive, okay, I, I will ask each one of you uh, to, to do, uh, what, what to do from May to 4. I don't know, like, I, I got this, so I just copied this. So, what to do, uh, what's the date today? Uh, today is uh, September 23. So what to do from uh, October 1 to 5, okay? Uh, so, uh, when do you start classes? I think you're starting your classes in a week. So what to do uh, before classes start? So what's your, what are your goals? Okay, what are your goals? Okay, and then the group one, group, group one meaning to say for one activity and then you have the task. So group two, you have the task and then group three. So this is a simple way of coming out with the mind map Okay, for, for time management. Next slide, please. Okay, this is an example of a weekly plan. Okay, revision for plan week. So, uh, for example, you are enrolled in uh, seven subjects, chemistry, geography, biology, physics, English, French, and maths, uh, mathematics. So this could be your uh, mind map. Okay, by, by the way, I forgot to mention that uh, in, when you are doing mind mapping, it is always important to have color coding. I'm not referring to the car color code transportation, but you know, red is usually the most uh, important one. The green is the going, etc. Like use the traffic light, uh, okay. Uh, particularly in time management, okay. Uh, you use the traffic light as as your uh, as your coding, like uh, red. It's usually the deadline, right? You cannot walk, you cannot walk, you cannot, you cannot proceed. Okay, green is ongoing and yellow is in between stopped and 
start. Okay, so uh, you can use green, uh, orange, and and red in your in your weekly plan. Uh, next, the other one is um, okay. Uh, this is more complicated. Weekly plan like Monday, uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Saturday, etc. This is an example, especially if you are so busy. Okay, to, to do all your things, then then probably this is uh, this could be an example of your mind map for a weekly plan. Uh, second, next, please. So, how to control your time with mind mapping? Okay, uh, first is holistic reflection. Write down all your tasks, all the tasks you are doing, including hobbies or extracurricular activities, then prioritize them with the first level to lower levels. Second, write down challenging goals or actionable goals and deadlines for each activity. You have to set your goals. Third is you have to develop your strategy. Drill down on its task brands and focus on one planning at a time, okay? Uh, probably we, we, we sometimes we consider ourselves uh, superman or superhuman or superman or superwoman that we, we can always do multitasking. But it is always best, even in any time management activity, okay, is, is that you have to take one, you have to focus on one planning, uh, one planning at a time. And then the fourth step is plan for tomorrow. Get back to the big picture and duplicate the goal strategy sheet every night after your work or class. And then the following morning, you start, you monitor, ano bang natapos ko, ano pang hindi ko natapos. Start the day by checking the task list and track the time. So this is how you would do your mind mapping, particularly uh, if you are, can we go back to the, uh, to the slide on mind mapping, wherein we have the goals, we have the, Group one, two, three. Uh, one more. Yeah, this one. Okay, so probably this is uh, the simplest uh, takeaway for you, you know, uh, 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 takeaway for you today. Like after this webinar, probably uh, get a piece of paper, okay, uh, write down uh, what do you do for this week or next week, write your goals, and then organize your tasks into first uh, into groups. Group one, those two, and then put all your ties and then prioritize. As I have said, you can use red, okay, if it's the most important, green, orange, something that can wait, and uh, green that is ongoing. Okay, next, please. Uh, okay, yeah, final thoughts, okay, I think, the, and uh, final thoughts. If you waste one day after another, your chance of achieving isn't just an improbability. Is an impossibility. And here's the thing, it's not hard not to waste time, right? Eating the frog is intimidating, the daily routine is boring, worse than that, the journey seems endless. You try different methods, however, years gone by, things are still the same. Then you come across mind mapping and then the advocacy about mind maps in learning, maybe this time the case would be different, okay? With that, uh, can we have the last uh, slide? Uh, maraming salamat po. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, uh, thank you. Mahalo. Arigato gozaimasu, etc. Gracias. Merci buku. And then, share, shukran. Maraming salamat. I guess I will now open for uh, uh, question and answer. Okay, uh, let's let's try to manage our. I tried to manage on my time. I told that I will have only one, uh, only one minute per slide because I have about sixty slide. But I think I was not able to do that. Probably I need to do a mind map for that as well later. All right, thank you so much, Doc Cha, for sharing with us how to make the most out of our online classes through mind maps as a tool to better present our ideas. So indeed, these uh, tips will be handful and useful for our students and even our teachers 
when they take down notes, prepare for their exam, for time, man time management, and many more. So guys, anong major takeaway ninyo from our session today with Doc Chak? Sige nga, comment them down below. And ako personally, ha, ang natandaan ko talaga yung difference ng uh, mind map sa concept map. And then, I realized na itong mind mapping will be great in tandem with time blocking. Kung naaalala niyo yung Pomodoro technique natin, pwede siyang isabay dun sa time blocking tapos maglagay ka ng mga mind map. So, thank you so much, Doc Cha, for those insights. Talagang ang dami po namin natutunan for today. Alright, so we are ready for your questions, guys. Again, kindly ask questions relevant to our topic. Comment them down below. Uh, include your name, your school, and affiliation or affiliation. And then your question. So an example is being shown in your screen. But in the meantime, may nauna ng mga questions tayo nakita no from uh, Doksha. This is one. This one is from Lily Nora Abelgafor Mangondaya. Her question is: Are there tools or apps that can be used to make concept or mind maps for online learning? Thank you. Yes. Okay. If you if you Google mind maps or concept map. It will directly uh, it uh, you you can you, uh, it will directly right uh, directly uh, uh, the 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 link will be uh, sorry do I need to start my video okay <laughs> okay yes there are so many ways there are so many apps or there are so w free you can download it one, one the most common particularly for mind map is the iMind okay which is actually the one developed by Tony Busan by uh, Tony Busan himself. Okay, and there are others. All right. So aside from softwares, Doc Cha, they can also use yung yung natural sir, no? Yung parang if they want to uh, jot down the mind maps, that would be okay too, right? Yeah. yeah. As I have said, when when I first uh, when I first uh, uh, when I was first asked to uh, do concept map, sa papel ko lang naman sinulat eh. Okay. Now now we have computers. Okay. Uh, we, you know, the, the good thing about computer is that you know uh, you know the flowchart program. Okay, the flowchart. That's a that's a very good way. You, even in your in your PowerPoint, you can easily move those boxes. Okay, resize them and then put all those uh, connections and then put the text box in it. That that is an easiest way to to do it. Okay. In fact, uh, in fact, I realize na. Uh, so that the students will focus, will be more focused in terms of when you are doing your lecture, uh, especially for teachers. My, my, my suggestion is to come out with a single one mind map. If you're talking about, for example, about uh, environment and population, you can just come out with just mind map and then just stick with that one slide and you will be able to do a lot of discussions and a, a lot of conversation with your students with just simply one slide. Okay, pero mahirap yon. Okay, mahirap na gawin. Kasi dapat uh, wala kang makaligtaan na concept, particularly if you are uh, if you are uh, doing a technical uh, te uh, if you are teaching a technical subject. But I, I think that's even easier because you know uh, if you share that one slide to your students, no, uh, kahit isang papel lang, kahit isang papel lang, you know, uh, they can easily review it rather than re reviewing. Uh, five or ten pages of, of readings na ang daming narrative pero uh, konti lang yung narrative. After all, okay, most learners, uh, as, as uh, research, um, researchers show that most learners retain more if they see visual. No? visual visual learners okay, return more rather than the, 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 uh, the other kinds of learners. All right. Thank you, Dr. Cha. I hope that answers your question. And Pareho po kami ni Ma'am Josie E.V. Yung major takeaway daw po niya, Dok Cha, is how mind map and concept map differs from each other. Pareho po kami ni, we thought it's just the same. Pag sinabing concept map and mind map, parang, ah, okay, it's just the same. Pero hindi pala. So, pag concept map, there are linking words. Or, yeah, yeah link yun lang. Is. So, may, may mga relationship are established, okay? Uh, that's why sabi ko, uh, babaero, lalakero ang concept map, eh. <laughs> mas matino yung mind map kasi isang isang diretso lang siya okay oh. pero dumadami nagpapadami siya pero diretso lang siya and the third the third thing here is that 
okay uh, mind maps concept map is also different from graphic the different graphic organizers okay remember uh, we also have graphic organizers like the sequence chart story map kwr chart uh venn diagram the fishbone uh, uh fishbone chart or the cost and effect diagram so the graphic organizers are also mind mapping tools but they are of different kind mm -hmm. okay so iba pa pala siya okay uh -huh. in, in relation yeah. to that doc cha meron pa pong question dito oh nagpapasalamat po muna si Christina Garcia thank you thanks for sharing your knowledge Dr. Richard by the way po which is more advisable in letting the students construct concept map to provide concepts or let the student provide the concepts uh well uh I, I hope you are you are uh, I, I don't know if you are your students are high school elementary or 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 college okay if, if it's in elementary or high school what you could do is of course you know uh, you cannot do this uh, even in online class okay you come up with the words okay you can just ask them like give me a word uh, for example uh, COVID okay COVID-19 so you you will show them COVID-19, and then ask the students to write words related to COVID-19. So, and then ask them to uh, come out with established relationships. So remember our, our COVID, origin, transmission, prevention, treatment, etc. Information. So, uh, uh, maganda yung, 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 it would be good if you, if you, uh, ask the students to participate because this will also uh, allow them to express themselves and to contribute to the development of the concept. All right. Thank you, Doc. Another question po is from Teresa Bumanglag, San Venua, Buena Ventura. How do mind maps... Uh, hi, Ma'am Tere. <laughs> Ma'am Tere is a high, you know, is, 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 is a very uh, renowned international consultant and curriculum and teaching. <laughs> okay po. <laughs> Hi ma'am. Ito po yung question niya, Doc. How do mind maps and concept maps relate to metacognition? And how can these tools be used to help students develop their self-monitoring skills in learning? Yes. Okay, both both actually are are metacognitive way, uh, metacognitive, metacognitive tools, okay? They help students to organize their thoughts because that's the idea of metacognition, okay? Is that the student should be able to organize their thoughts and learn from what you are, uh, and, and, and learn from what they are uh, doing. So, uh, I, I, I would say that uh, the concept map, if you are asking which is more which is more useful or helpful in terms of developing metacognition, it is concept map. Because I remember in concept map, you're able to establish relationships and you're able to establish propositions wherein it helps the students come out with logical structure of his thought processes. Okay, Paul. thank you, Doc. And also, I hope my personal question, Doc, when to use and when not to use mind maps po ba, Doc? Okay. Okay, ang hirap na question. No? Like, okay. <laughs> now, uh, what, what is your intention? What is your intention? Uh, like, uh, if you're a teacher, if you're a teacher, probably uh, uh, it's, it's, it's very important to come out with mind maps because this will, this will uh, help your, this will encourage creativity. As I have said, this will instigate creativity, alertness, and, 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 and organization, as well as logical, as well as critical thinking of your students, okay? But overdoing it would probably, you know, not helpful to your students because it becomes a routine. And so you lost the, the, the intent of doing um, uh, mind mapping by having it be becoming a daily routine. So from time to time, uh, from time to time, it would be very good to uh, do ask students to do mind mapping or to you do your own mind mapping, okay? However, if you are uh, attending a webinar, for example, okay, if you're attending a webinar, for example, then uh, it, it's, 
and and and, and uh, it's more difficult to write sentences or narratives. So you can just click the words and then try to establish connect, 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 connect. Then uh, and then later on you go back to it and try to ah oh nga pala, no, ito yung sinabi na na plants pala you know should have roots plants uh, produce uh, fruits and so on. So uh, concept to me concept mapping is more useful when you are attending a lecture just to organize your thoughts okay okay remember though okay this is caveat remember though that concept mapping is different from note taking <laughs> okay right concept mapping is not equivalent of note taking the thing is in in concept mapping while you pick important keywords or concept you are already establishing. This is where the metacognitive processes will come in because you are trying to establish relationship. In fact, you can make your own way of organizing the, the words or the concepts in a more logical way that you can easily understand it by yourself. You can rephrase. You can rephrase the way you thought, like this is what I heard, but this, is, this should be what, what, uh, what should be, uh, this should be the way it should be. All right. Thank you so much, Doc Cha. Ayan po, sobrang dami pong nagpapasalamat sa ating... Uh, Maraming salamat din. Opo. From me nga, Francia, sir. Thank you, sir. The concept map discussion will be very helpful for our upcoming qualifying exam. Also, yes. the mapping for time management will be applicable in our situation right now. And I definitely agree po. <laughs> yeah. So that yeah. you won't be amiss. Okay, so Dr. Cha, any message po to our participants, especially po sa mga students and mga teachers po joining our webinar for this uh, morning? Um, as I have said, um, you know, I, I the con the concept map, like you, you know, like concept mapping was was actually one course that I took in in, in my in in, in Japan. Uh, it, it sounds very complicated, but if you are able to, uh, uh, if you are able to get used to it, you know, particularly in your, in, when you are listening to webinars or lectures, okay, just to organize your notes, okay, uh, in a better way, more organized, the way you understood, the the way you understood it, it's not, you know, because the usual note taking is sentence per sentence, sinusulat natin, but rather, kung words lang, naglalagay lang tayo ng, you know, like, uh, you know Instead na marami kasing nakikini na, na sa sa lecture, especially sa atin, okay? Na, na, Nagdo-drawing tayo, nagdo-drawing tayo habang pinapakinggan natin si Atchang Benji, di ba? Nagdo-drawing tayo, tapos man, pagkatapos nun meron na tayong, ano, meron na tayong painting. Okay? Instead of doing that, you might as well try to do, to write all the concept and then put all the links. Or, okay, uh, your mind maps, you know, uh, instead of anong una kong gagawin, okay, just put in a uh, I need to finish my assignment in biochemistry. Okay, one is anong kailangan ko. Second, uh, ano yung deadline. Okay, third, uh, sino yung audience. Uh, ano yung dapat output. So an ano yun. So instead of instead of just uh, pag-isipan mo, kasi kaya, kaya nga ano eh. These are helpful tools to organize your thoughts and your thinking processes because they will present visually what you can you, what you need to do in just one piece of paper or in just one 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 one, one, one you know one piece of paper or one one cardboard etc all right so there you have it guys Dr. So, uh, yeah so so i i would say na uh, concept mapping are and and mind maps are you know, very useful is scaffolding, is scaffolding tools for learning as well as in teaching. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. There you have it, guys. Those were meaningful ad, uh, pieces of advice from Doc Cha. Talagang napaka-relevant ng ating topic. Very interesting yung ating topic for this morning na talaga namang magagamit natin, not just for online learning, but for people who are also working so that our life would not be a mess. Lahat naka-organize para hindi na nasasayang yung mga oras natin. Again, maraming maraming salamat po, Doc Cha. Now, 
At this moment, uh, Team LRC would like to take this opportunity to thank our speaker for his valuable time. So to award the Certificate of Appreciation, may I kindly recognize our director, Ma'am Benji Floor. So let me just kindly uh, read the citations first. UP uh, University of the Philippines Los Baños Learning Resource Center present the Certificate of Appreciation to Richard D.L.C. Gonzalez for serving as resource speaker in the seventh session on mind mapping tools, how to make online learning effective and meaningful in Jikanaba Mag Online Learning, a webinar series and how to study at home under the new normal held today, September 23, 2020, given this 23rd day of September 2020 at Learning Resource Center, UPLP College Laguna, signed by our director, Benjamin Paula G. Flor. Chai lai lai de, achan do achan na achan Richard. So kop chai lai lai means uh, thank you very much in uh, Lao language. So magkasama kami ni Doc Chat sa Lao for some time. So yun na aming uh, batian. So, so kaya ang tawag sa akin ng achan. Yes, five year uh, project. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so thank you so much, uh, Dr. Cha. We are so uh, blessed uh, to have you to uh, share your thoughts about mind and concept mapping. And despite your very hectic, no, talagang totoong hectic ang schedule ni Dr. Cha, but he took time out to uh, be with us because, you know, as a consultant, you only don't need to manage your time. You also have to manage your budget. And without even asking if uh, there's a professional fee for this uh, presentation or for this sharing, wala yung kay Doc Cha because as a teacher, talagang he wants to share and that passion of teaching is something that he wants to do and may not have the time to do so. So I hope we made your day, uh, Doc Cha. We have uh, very uh, positive comments in our, uh, uh, in our uh, Facebook page. And I hope you all learned from this uh, experience. And for our thesis students, this is something that you can use in uh, conceptualizing or finding your unknown. Baka by that time, makita nyo na ang unknown ninyo with the, the use of these tools in uh, organizing your thoughts. And mas maganda nga kasi it's, uh, it's coupled with time management. So I hope you are able to uh, learn so much from this uh, sharing of Dr. Gonzalez. And uh, at this point, uh, we'd also like to acknowledge... Uh, a person who is very close to us, and uh, we want to greet her a very happy birthday yeah, to yeah. Ati She Hermosa Ebron. Wow. So, Ati She, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Akala mo nalimutan namin ano. So, we are, uh, we are so happy that uh, Ati She is celebrating her birthday today. So, can we sing a happy birthday for Ati She? Go, Chico! <laughs> okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Happy birthday to, to you. you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ate Shea. Happy birthday. Salamat po. Akala ko po walang nakalala, Char. <laughs> walang <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Ma'am Bench. Thank you so much, um, Doc Cha. Thank you so much, Team LRC. Thank you so much, Sir Chico. So, now for the evaluation of this session. Uh, so, Josh, nasa ng cake natin? Ito po. Andito na po, andito na. Thank you. Happy like birthday, Ate Shea. Dapat may mind map. Mind map. <laughs> <laughs> May mind bump pa rin. Salamat po, Team LRC and everyone. So, going back to the evaluation of the session po, um, the, link to the, evaluation will, uh, the link to the evaluation form will be sent to your registered email address. So, kindly help us serve you better by answering the form. And please answer the form to get your e-certificate of participation for this session until 7 p.m. today. So, 
also allow us to have at least 48 hours to generate your e-certificate, which will be also sent to your email. So it's very important that you provided us with your correct, uh, correctly spelled email address so that you will receive the uh, evaluation form. But apart from the certificate, more than the certificate, we do hope that you gain valuable insights from our session with DocChat. Okay. At this point, we would like to recognize our team, Team LRC and GKNB Core team headed by our director, Mambenji Floor. And on our technical side is our university research associate, Joshua Michael G. Jonas. And also here with us is our Tita Allen. Thank you, Tita Allen, for being with us. And our webinar production online director, of course, Direct Prof. Mark Lester M. Chico. Thank you so much, Po. Also, thank you so much, guys, for joining us. It has been our team's pleasure and privilege of serving you amidst this pandemic. Maraming salamat pong muli sa atin. Sorry, my son. Hi. 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 Richard DLC Gonzalez. Muli po, dito na po nagtatapos ang ating programa. This has been your moderator, the birthday girl, Cheryl Ed Hermosa Ebron. Mga isko at iska. Together, let us build strong habits every day. Stop depending on motivation. Instead, choose to stick to your schedule and overcome challenges and destructions over and over again. Be consistent, be persistent, trust the process, and trust your progress. After all, great things come from small beginnings. So again, thank you guys for joining us. Team LRC, we'll see you on the next one. Keep safe and God bless you all. Bye. Bye-bye. Happy birthday.